Hi folks, thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and at the end of last year we moved to a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. This week it's time for something completely different as we stay a night in the oldest inn on the island. As a rare treat, we indulge in some of Skye's finest foods, all prepared by chefs at the Steen Inn. If you're interested in Scottish history like we are, stick around to find out more about this amazing historic location. Join, Join us, us as we continue. continue. Live in the sky life. Hello, you join us on our way out of the glen. We're going to the woods somewhere and we're going foraging for wild mushrooms, but not just for us this time, but for the owners of the Steen Inn in the north of Skye. Why are we taking them some mushrooms? Well, I'll tell you why. This is a very special episode. Normally we do all our own cooking, all our foraging, fishing, etc. But today we're going to have a special treat. We're going to have a chef look after us instead. And also we're going to stay the night there in the oldest inn on Sky. Are you excited? Very excited. So it'll be great fun. But first let's get these mushrooms for the owners because they were very kind. We're staying there and we're eating there and they're giving us a really good deal in that. So this is a thank you to them on here and also hopefully in that basket in Sarah's hand. Let's see what we can find. One of the reasons we chose to go to the place that we're going to is because they're really dog friendly and a lot of places on Sky are, like a lot of the cafes and places, even the shops, the hardware shops, <laughs> yeah. let dogs in. But a lot of the like sort of nice restaurants, for good reason, quite often don't let dogs in. But this place we're going to, they're really dog friendly and they were more than happy for Jack Spaniels to come with us. So Yeah, that was the main <laughs> factor as well. I mean, it's a beautiful place, but when you're good to Jack, you're good to us. Jack, can you please find me some chanterelles? Show me where they are. <laughs> Clever dog. I've just spotted what looks very much like hedgehog mushrooms, my favourites. Sarah's going climbing very bravely. Jack's oh, going yeah. up too to help in the way that he always helps, which is by not helping at all. Yeah, there he goes, that's what he does. Three little hedgehogs. This is why we came to this spot originally, was because we thought we'd find hedgehogs. Yeah. And then we ended up finding chanterelles. Yep, yeah. incoming spaniel. And I've just spotted some chanterelles just over there, which is the first place we found them. I don't know if you can just about see them up there. Just a couple of flashes of yellow. Here she comes. She's always easy to see in the woods because she always wears teal or blue. It's much easier for her as well because she's small. When I go in there, I have to crouch right down. It's really difficult. My job right now is just restrain the excitable spaniel because uh, otherwise he'll go up there and trample over every mushroom that Sarah's trying to pick. Me? Yes, you little monster. It's so beautiful. I think they might be the prettiest mushroom. Pretty edible. You get some pretty crazy mushrooms that are like, have globules of like red on them and things. Sarah's over there with Jack. I can hear him barking. Probably won't be long before he bails over here and tramples the mushrooms. So I better get these picked. There's a load of chanterelles at my feet. Those ones there are a bit far gone, but there's lots of nice fresh ones. Sarah's got a few there. Just goes to show like how easy it is to make mistakes. To pick, yeah, to pick the wrong mushroom because these two are growing in right the same place. And from above, they kind of look very similar. And if you see a yellow mushroom in the distance, quite often you get there and it's this, which is actually a slippery jack. Yeah. Um, underneath they look very, very different. It's not toxic. Well, the top is. I think you have to peel them, but I've never bothered to eat them. They don't look that appealing to me. This looks comfortable. It's a good look for you, Jack. <laughs> right, let's get some more mushrooms, eh? Good going so far. Hey, Jack. Not bad for about 20 minutes. Just add this, it's another false saffron milk cap. And it's interesting because we had a flush of these a few weeks ago. I think I've actually shown this before, but it's so cool. So I'm doing it again. You cut them down the middle. And orange milk happens. Isn't that cool? You can eat this, the false ones and you can eat the other ones, the true ones. But uh, we are yet to do it because we haven't found enough in good condition. It's encouraging to see that there's another flush of these coming out because uh, I haven't tried them and I want to eat them. you find Jack sometimes you just don't see any chanterelles and you think there's going to be none and then suddenly you spot one two three four little tiny ones down there and a whole little patch over there hey monkey are you happy you don't care as long as you've got sticks oh the longest stem ever this is not for puppy dogs we don't give it to you and you don't eat them a successful foray in the woods we've got a fair amount of uh chanterelles and a couple other bits and bobs as well but yeah that was great i really enjoyed it how about you 
yeah, it was really good. My hair is very messy now. I slightly regret having the shower before coming out foraging. That's always a mistake. But... Big mistake. So yeah, we're going to go back to the car now. I haven't even packed. It's the day we're going away on a mini holiday and I haven't packed anything yet. <laughs> so we better get that done and then get on the road. So the next time you see us, we'll be in the car on the way to the north of Sky. <laughs> going on adventures. Yes. Different kind of adventure to this morning. Chaos and disorder. The road to the fairy pools is closed. So that dude is probably the least popular dude on Sky. Nightmare. Everyone has to figure out where else to go. We are on our way. Scrubbed up nicely. Willie's even had a haircut. Hasn't trimmed the beard though. You must <laughs> never trim the beard. It's only an hour's drive away. And it feels a bit strange to go away for the night to somewhere that's really close by but it's yeah. part of the island we've never been to it also means that over dinner we can both have a glass of wine and a dram which a is the real reason <laughs> otherwise everywhere we would have to go to for a meal one of us would have to drive a little belated birthday celebration i'm very glad we didn't have it booked for my birthday this is the post covid birthday treat a little vacay yep We are here, we've just pulled up outside the Steen Inn, that's where we'll be staying tonight and we're going to go in and get checked in and probably have a beer, I would have thought. Yeah, or one of their uh, selection of 120 whiskies. We could be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> right Jack, let's go in. Okay, come on Jack. So we could fake it up and say that we haven't been in the room already, but we have because Jack likes to run in every room that he goes to. So he's already been in and so are we, but uh, we're just going to show you. So through the keyhole, here we go. We are in Ardmore. Ooh. Let's see what it's like. Never been in here before. <laughs> oh look, our bags magically appeared. Oh wow, that's amazing. The last time we came in, Jack ran straight to the corner. There was a lovely little treat laid out from, which was so nice of them. That was so kind. Hey Jack, what's that? What's that? You can have it. You can take it. Take it. Take it off a table. Take it. Good boy. <laughs> that was so kind of them. <laughs> How lovely. We'll maybe save the other one for later. I don't think Jack really understands save it for later. Can you sit, please? Can you spin? Oh, right. We'll try that again, shall we? Spin. Wait, wait. Gentle. Oh. Was not it wasn't gentle, but he didn't get me, so it's fine. Look at the size of the bed, it's enormous. I know, this is amazing. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You're not allowed. You're not allowed on the bed. This is our room for the night. Isn't it lovely? And look at this view. Ooh. It's a little bit on the fuzzy side right now, but... Hopefully the sky will clear. We've got palm trees outside the front, yeah. like in Plockton. Amazing view. And lots of little boats as well to make me feel at home. <laughs> wow, and it's the oldest inn on Sky, built in 1790. That's amazing. Amazing. So cool. Look at this in the morning. We've got some coffee, posh coffee bags. Ooh. None of that instant swill. And little posh shortbread biscuits the Highland Coup on it. It's a little bit chilly looking outside, so I don't think we're going to be sitting outside and walking around and doing anything. It's probably time for a drink. Yeah, let's do it. None of us have got to drive, all right. We're having a little cheeky glass of Prosecco. Cheers. This is for uh, your birthday and our anniversary, both of which landed when I had COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a little evening of uh, celebration mm -hmm. of both things. Yay! 
Cheers. Cheers. Am I going to regret doing this? Jack? What's this? What's this puppy dog? Can you sit? Sit nice. Ready? Come. The nice people here gave you a toy. <gasps> You're a lucky dog. <laughs> yes, you are. It's getting even more wet and wild outside now. Well, he's gone out to get the rest of the stuff. Then I think we're just going to sit and watch the weather and get nice and cozy and have some nice food. <laughs> it's always like this in August. It's always a bit wet and a bit wild, but I love it. It's still beautiful. I think he likes his new toy. I've got my Prosecco that I'm still working on, but Willie's desperate for a pint. So we're going to go down to the bar. I wouldn't mind a pint, maybe one or two. Maybe two. Maybe, maybe 12. <laughs> couple of pints, couple of dips. I think that'll do me. So we're going to go down to the bar and see what it's like. But from what I've seen, it looks very much like our kind of decor. It's perfect. Lots of stuff. Lots, lots of cool of old curios. stuff. And there's beams as well, which yeah. I'm a big fan of. As you probably know, if you've been watching the channel, <laughs> I've got beams in my studio with horse brasses on them. It's very much like that vibe. But let's show them. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if it's a done thing to take your Prosecco down to the bar with you, but that's what I'm doing. This is very cool. This lovely person here is Charlie, the owner. Hi guys, Charlie, owner of Steen Inn. So 1790, oldest inn in the sky. Um, I have been here four years. I have two children, so it's a family run pub. My son Jack and his mate Ruth. I also have a nearly 18 year old daughter, Clemence, who comes here and waitresses front of house with um, mates sort of every year. So yes, I've been running the pub. Jack is um, usually checking guests in or playing cards with them or skimming stones outside on the beach and Rue's here quite a lot aren't you Rue? So yeah. it's Rue's second home as well isn't it? So usually Jack and Rue are out fishing just on the slipway over there. I so, saw them. Um, we yeah. saw them on the way. We saw you fishing on the way in. Did you catch anything? Windy. Too windy. <laughs> Too windy. We caught a mackerel yesterday and a sea trout. Nice. Good, yeah. yeah, nice sea trout. Yeah. So when they usually catch it, then so Charlie, Charlie can come and cook it. So we're in the kitchen. Jack's got a knife and we're in there just taking all the guts out. And Amazing. So pretty, pretty fresh. We usually get the shellfish from the boat just outside. The mussels, which the boys have just eaten. They've just eaten just them. Here. Well, we're going to get some food later, so yeah, we'll show it when it's not just been eaten. Yes, yeah, here's <laughs> one. Yeah. We get langoustines, lobster, crab, and obviously the mussels. We had some giant crabs in the other day, and literally the crab is about that big. Wow. And then we had a lobster pretty much that big. Wow. Caught just across there from the little boat, 12 o'clock. Passionate about shellfish is kind of like my, one of our biggest sort of selling points. And then venison, we do a lot of wild venison. So it's all about land and the sea. So it's about local produce. So you have a lot of chanterelles, which are foraged from Jeff. The forager, Rui, you're here quite a bit, aren't you? Yeah, quite a bit. Jack, um, he's like a little mini bear grills. So <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. That's cool though. Uh, that's cool. That's like, that cool. Like, that's a cool, like, exactly the yeah. kudos thing. Or a lot of the kids playing football and Children are to be seen and heard in my book, as well as the, you know, pooches, four-legged friends. So, Jack, uh, what do you enjoy? Fishing and mountain biking. And there's quite a lot of good swimming spots around here. Jack's quite into cooking as well, actually. So, as is my daughter, so he'll be in the kitchen, sort of chopping away. And, and once you, they do sort of catch fish, you eat them as well, don't you, yeah. things? So, yeah, um, well, you've, got to, you've got to, you've got to. I want to get, get a cod. But, a cod yeah. in the winter because yeah, I'm from the east easy. coast I'm from the east coast and on the east coast it's mm -hmm. all about the cod coming here on sky I don't know if you are. do you get a cod here do you, can you actually catch cod here yeah you were saying about cod the other night the other yeah. day lobster's your favourite yeah I don't what about like langoustines yeah, you like langoustines yeah, yeah I like lobster you prefer lobster yeah. we just caught our first langoustines and 
Yeah. Possibly the, the smallest lobster we could legally have landed. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was 95 oh, no, mil. It was a few millimetres over, yeah. but it was, it was definitely not a monster. I think we had one lobster and two langoustines. So we'll be uh, comparing and contrasting tonight's meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> pressure. Yeah. no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all about local produce, local beers, cider. We do quite a lot of live music. We've got an art event coming up as well in a week. So it's like local artists and they're going to exhibit. So and as I said, it's kind of the hub of the community. So it's all about, you want to give back to the community. It's on the 8th of September. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like a gallery thing. Okay. Which will be quite cool. And like loads of different local arts and stuff from around here. They're just going to be exhibiting on that wall just there. For New Year's Eve, we usually do music as well and a few events yeah. and things like that. Slange. Cheers. Gin, gin. We're just sitting in the bar area of the pub. They're going to call it the gallery room because there's so much artwork on the walls and they're going to do an exhibition in here very soon. This would have been absolutely packed, but there's been an accident on the road to Sky. The main road, so a lot of the people that were meant to be here for food and, and for the rooms uh, haven't made it because the road's closed. Yeah. And when the road is closed on the islands, that's it. You don't go anywhere. So this room, as Sarah was saying, should be absolutely full of people, but it's just us, the rest, and where we're going for our food in about 10 minutes. They are very busy, but this room is really, really quiet. It's only mm. us. Us part of living on an island, you know? It's, uh, it makes it much less accessible. It does feel less remote than it did nine months ago. No, no, it just feels like normal now, in a good way. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I really could ever consider myself as normal. Oh. Insert choir noise here. Oh. oh, you ruined it by moving. Oh. You can put a rapturous look on your face, though. Oh. We're looking forward to choosing off the menu, yeah? Which I'll show you now, with some lovely tunes in the background. <laughs> So people left, so we're in the room, the main room, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, why was the lobster kicked out of the disco? Getting it all out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing too. Let's eat it. Oh, that's good. Lovely, yeah? Mm. Delicious. This is awesome. Well, the mussel starter is a good starter. The mussels were really sweet. They were a really nice size. I think they might be rope grown ones as opposed to the wild ones that we get um, because there was no grit in them at all. The tarragon in there is lovely. Really lovely with the flavour of the cream and the apple cider as well. It's just the whole thing together just works so well. Really delicious, the whole thing. And I'm going to be stealing this recipe. So uh, thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Okay, here's the lobster. That looks absolutely amazing. It looks very different to how we did our lobster. Like a bit of variety. I'm getting inspiration. <laughs> Which means I'm nicking the recipes. <laughs> this is the claw. The bigger claw. Say yeah, give me the bigger claw. Isn't that good? So it's going in the clarified bar. Oh. So this is a spread. It's uh, Sarah's birthday and our anniversary that we're celebrating in one. So we've gone completely crazy. And honestly, usually when you get langoustines, you get like four or five. And this mm. is amazing. Food. Look at them all. Wow. And the lobster and all the lovely side veg and everything. It looks incredible. I don't know why I'm still talking. Let's eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we uh, we succeeded in our mission. Demolished might be the word. Demolished. So langoustines, absolutely amazing. Lobster, absolutely amazing. Absolutely everything was amazing to be honest. It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Jack. Don't tell anyone.
gentle. Jack loves broccoli. <laughs> Jack and I are outside, so you can go for a little widow wonder. Actually, this is the second one of the evening, and Sarah's going to order us some whiskies, and we're very full, but in a good way, comfortably, adequately full. Go back in shortly after Jack says his widow wonder. Have a whiskey. Why not? We're not having any dessert because I think that'll just be a little bit too indulgent. This food will be really grainy because it's night time, but look at this place, it's absolutely beautiful. Lovely little highland seaside village. Gorgeous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the problem with walking Jack on a lead near water. He is so strong and he wants to get in. And he certainly isn't getting in because if he does, he'll be soaking in the pub. It's quite embarrassing really, I can't find it. I can't find the way back to the pub. I don't know what it is, I'm looking for the inn. Yeah. I've been looking for about half an hour, I just can't find my way in. I've got no phone signal as well, it's terrible. I don't know what I'm going to do now. There's our whiskies. We went for a couple of Aberlowers, which is Sarah's favourite. My favourite. We're going to indulge. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Hope you've enjoyed this experience as much as we have. Slangeba. <laughs> Right, so we're back in the room and we're very full. We looked at a few places to go for my birthday. We like doing things that are like experiences and we knew mm. there's so many places on Sky that do amazing seafood mm. and we wanted to go somewhere nice. We looked at, yeah, we did look at a few places but it well, just didn't work out with like bringing Jack especially yeah. and they've been so lovely to Jack. They were absolutely lovely to chat. Yeah. We both wanted to film this as well. We just thought it'd be a cool experience because the channel, we do we do a lot of the, the things down in the Glen and that's great. But we wanted you folks to experience this as well. So that's why we asked a few places if they were okay with filming. And most of the places came back and said, that's absolutely fine. You're very welcome to. But this place said they really wanted us to, which was cool. And they said, in fact, we're going to offer you a discount to do it. And we totally didn't see that coming at all. We said, yeah, I mean, if we're going to film and be on the internet, I guess that that is fair. So, but yeah, it was, it was just mad. We didn't expect someone <laughs> to come back and say, we've actually watched your videos and we, we enjoy them, which yeah. is what they said. And it just kind of blew their minds a bit. Yeah. But anyway, the whole experience has been amazing. I'm so glad to say that the food was exquisite. Yeah. It really was. The service was incredible. It was so good of Charlie and Steve to, to do this for us. And, and all the staff as well. The staff is so lovely. The like, staff were incredible. Charlie's but, kids that are working yeah, here. Yeah. And all the girls and the guy behind the bar as well. Stefan, yeah. I think his name is. Yeah. And they were all just so lovely. There are posher places on Sky, but posher is mm. not always better. And this just feels really homely. It's so homely and, and, and just cosy and lovely. Really nice and vibes. We're going to unwind and drink our little whiskies and then we're going to go to sleep and yeah. then we'll take it from there in the morning little but this part well the doubles. Double, double whiskeys it was your birthday and our anniversary sorry <laughs> thanks for joining us in this adventure it's been amazing coming to this hotel absolutely amazing we've thoroughly enjoyed it and we'll show you more in the morning as well before we go down the road however there is one part of the evening where we have to say goodbye to the camera and that part's now bye bye <laughs> I just literally just woke up. I'm like completely asleep. I woke up and I was like, where is Sarah? <laughs> Why is Jack not licking my face? And I just had a text that said, I'm having breakfast. <laughs> so I threw some clothes on and came down and literally I was asleep. Someone was snoozing. Yeah. But I was worried that we were going to miss breakfast. I'm having a child's breakfast of Nutella spread on. Oh my gosh. That was pan au chocolat with extra added Nutella. What's your point? I'm glad everyone else has disappeared. Chocolate time. So they're not seeing this heathen behaviour. I'm going to do it home on my holidays.
So yeah, breakfast here is like a help yourself continental style tea and coffee and croissants and toast. Nutella. And Nutella. Mm -hmm. We are all breakfasted. <laughs> we're getting packed up and we're just trying to pluck up the courage to go outside yeah. into the rather wild weather. <laughs> we were hoping to explore a little bit of the Waternish area because it is absolutely stunning up here and there's brocks and old All cottages sorts. and stuff. So it's a good thing we're only an hour away because I don't think we're going to be doing much of that today because it is very wet and wild. Sightseeing is always best when you can see the thing you're looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a top tip there for you yeah. folks. There's a couple of places I want to visit that are in the area we're going to go see mm -hmm. and then we're going to head home. We're going to Sky Skins. Sky Skins. And yeah. the pottery. Yeah, there's a, there's a new pottery they just opened this year, I think. And I really like that stuff. So we're going to go check them out before we head home. So yeah, time to check out. Let's go. The township of Steen overlooks Loch Bay on the west coast of the Waternish Peninsula. The village was designed by Thomas Telford for the British Fisheries Society, launched in 1786 to improve the lives of crofting families displaced by the Highland clearances. The project faltered, meaning only some of the buildings designed by Telford were ever built. The oldest of these buildings date back to 1709, but they were added to over the years and established as the inn we see today in 1790. It's amazing to think of the variety of people who've had a warm welcome here in over 200 years of history. As always folks, thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed this trip to the oldest inn on the Isle of Skye. Recently, Nigella Lawson was there and she reviewed the fish and chips as one of the best she's ever had. You know, she's really cool. And uh, if she's saying that, then they're obviously very good fish and chips, which means we'll need to go back at some point. Yeah. By the way, if you are watching Nigella, just leave us a wee comment in the uh, comment section below. There's so much to do in the Waternish area that we're definitely gonna have to go back. And there's more to come about that in next week's video as well. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave us a like, a comment, or subscribe to our channel if you don't already. It helps our channel to grow and it's free to do. If you did enjoy the video and you want to support the channel a little bit more, you can do so over on Ko-fi. You can buy us a coffee or you can buy Jack Spaniels a wee treat. If you want to support our channel more long term, you can become one of our amazing patrons over on Patreon, where you get lots of extra content for helping us out every month. The Q&A with Willie Scott. The one and only that's me is out in two parts because there were so many questions about the lives that he has led <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing a q a about jack spaniels very soon as well the links to all our pages are in the video description below Hello. just like to say a big shout out and a big thanks to charlie and steve at the steen end they were just so cool the hospitality the food the welcome that we got was just absolutely amazing if you get a chance you should go there and check it out it's so good and of course a big shout out to jack and rue for being so cool on camera Thanks again for watching and we will see you ba -ba -la -da -da next week. We're leaving our suburban life, moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. It's encouraging to see there's another fluff, fluff. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's encouraging to see there's another... <laughs> okay, compose yourself, man. By order of the Peaky Blinders. I was going to put the drone up, but that's not going to be possible because it's too wet outside. So instead, we will make their insides wet too with beer. <laughs> I, I did say that. You can't say that I have you. said that. Right. The sign, the sign, not the raindrops, the sign. Oh, come on. <sighs> sign, sign. It's not having it. God, you're so tall. Sorry. All right, go on then, show me how it's done. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Jack, get down. down. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't think I can. Why is the plan? Okay, so. I'm in position. We're all settled in. Jack's got his bed in his position and he's also had some dinner as well. What are you doing? I'm just adding dramatic <laughs> stabs. This is the way one gets into a new bed in a hotel room. <laughs> Style, grace and panache. Can you roll over? No, come here. Very excited dog. Roll over. <laughs> right. Fish. Oh, he's climbing. He's actually fully climbing, mate. Okay, here he is. He's ready for his theme tune. Okay, it goes like this Jack Spaniels, 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 hooray! Hey! He seems entirely unmoved by that song. Next week, Pooh! Should we do that again? That's like you can't shout poo and then jump at the screen. <laughs> poo! Click here to subscribe to Live in the Sky Life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.